Russia is struggling on the battlefield. And now the Kremlin accuses Ukraine of plotting to detonate a so-called dirty bomb. Something Kyiv and the West dismiss as fantasy. In fact, a dirty bomb is not known to have been used anywhere in the world. Well, a dirty bomb in its purest form is radiological ice tapes, such as uranium or plutonium, uh, or even something like polonium. Uh, we, we saw polonium used to kill Litvinenko in this country. That could be called a dirty bomb. Uh, the idea is that you then explode these radiological isotopes, radiological material, and that spreads contamination. Um, it's never been done before. It's always been threatened, and uh, it makes a very good storyline in James Bond novels and, uh, and other terrifying books. But in reality, um, it, uh, it is an anathema. It really is not a realistic way or a weapon because the likelihood of creating casualties, which is what the Russians want to do, is very low indeed. Um, what it does do is have a psychological impact, and that's probably the primary aim uh, of uh, Putin and the Russian government at this stage. Even if the threat of a dirty bomb was credible, it's not a weapon which could be easily deployed. This is not something that a terrorist or somebody can cook up in their back shed and use. Um, getting hold of radiological isotopes is very difficult, highly controlled, and certainly uranium and plutonium would only really be available to states. So if there is a dirty bomb used with these isotopes, um, it could only cut, really come from Russia or another nuclear power. But Hamish de Breton Gordon thinks there's a more pressing nuclear threat the West would do well to guard against. Putin is absolutely desperate. He's clutching at straws. He is hanging on by his fingernails in Ukraine. I think he's looking to any potential conventional warfare tactic he can use to try and turn it around. Threatening a dirty bomb to me is, although that's not realistic, actually he could create a massive dirty bomb by blowing up the Zaporizhia nuclear power station or one of the other nuclear power stations. I think that's where we need to focus. We need to make sure that those places are protected. Ideally get IEA, International Atomic Energy Agency inspectors into Zaporizhia and elsewhere to give them some sort of security. But that should be our focus, not a few small so-called dirty bombs placed around the place, which uh, Russia could then blame on Ukraine and use its own nuclear weapons. Um, it is the nuclear power industry that is the most dangerous and cr could create you know, a massive dirty bomb and we need to try and protect those places. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.